everyone. Welcome back to PJ's CAD class. Today we would like to discuss about how to build this simple twist earring. And the command is quite simple. What we need is to creating a curve, which is the oval. And then we are going to do the curve edit. Um, there are many different ways to do it. I'm going to show you, but the one I'm showing you here is twisting. And then after twisted, we simply just gonna pipe it. And that's how we get our earring today. So let's get started. There are many different ways to draw a twisting looking uh, curve. What I like to do is the simple as possible. So I'm gonna go with the ellipse tool. And in the ellipse tool, the second one, uh, you go by the diameter. I'm going to turn on my, make sure grid snap is on, and I'm going to turn it on to snapping into the grid for a 20 by 40 millimeter. And after that, um, there are two ways to do it. First, we can turn on the control point. So I'm gonna select this, turn the control point on. And then you can grab the control point. Let's say I'm going to only grab the one on the top. And then I use a gumball to twist it. And you will see that it's kind of twist. Unfortunately, you will see, sometimes you will see there's a kink right there. If you pipe it, it doesn't look continuous smooth. So the command I'm going to use today is actually called twist. It's a living under transform and uh, third section, the first one is twist. When you twist, you have an option to choose. You want to twist the whole thing or twist the half things. So let's select the object first. And then I'm going to have all snap on, on and uh, snap to the quadrant. And then first I'm going to show you I'm only twist halfway. Now I'm going to the top view. You can click on anywhere. And when you twist it, you kind of notice it is only the top portion is twist. However, it doesn't have that kind of a kink that like what we did earlier with the control point on. Okay. So this is the good thing about using the twist on the curve. Let's go back. The second option we have is we're going to twist the entire things. So I'm going to use the same command by uh, using the right click of the mouse or hit enter. And I select the object. And I want the snapping into the quadrant to quadrant. And this time, I'm looking at, if you, if you look at uh, my mouse on the top view, I'm twisting almost like 360 degree. So that's how I get this form. Uh, you can see on my perspective. It look like it's continuous twist. And it's even a twist from the top to the bottom. Okay. Now, I just need to pipe it. So I'm going to go to the solid tool and choose the pipe. And you kind of notice the pipe is starting right at the quadrant. The reason is that is because that's where when I creating the um, ellipse, that's where my cursor first stop stopping point. But I would like to have something like bigger on the bottom, smaller in the top. So here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we can do it starting from beginning and make sure you starting from the uh, your cursor is starting from the top, or we can move it the same. To move the seam, simply you're going to use this command, uh, adjust a closed curve seam, and it's living under the um, curve editing tool. So you go there, you click on your curve, and all of a sudden you see this uh, red dot with the Y point. We are going to move this one and snapping into the quadrant on the very top. Now, it seems like nothing happened, but if we are going to pipe it this time, it will starting on where the seam is. So on the top, I'm simply just going to go by the radius for one. 
and then I move my mouse uh, cursor to the bottom and I snapping into uh, the quadrant or the midpoint which is the same at this in this case I'm going to type it to point two so one is bigger one is smaller and I hit enter that's how I get this form rest of it is is making this earring um, I will need to have one jump ring so I'm going to use the torus and making a simple jump ring uh, make sure your all snap is off it's kind of too big gonna scale it down put it there so I have that jump ring and then we are going to draw the earring wire by using the curve tool and a lot of time those are the finding you can buy you don't actually need to print it but we we'll do this is for the rendering purpose so I want to make sure that my client understand how this French wire work and how does that look on the earring so that's approximately about that size and we are going to pipe this one as well and normally the uh, earring wire is about 20 gauge which is 0.81 um, in diameter so in, I'm going to click on the diameter and type it 0 0.81 and enter for the same diameter at the end and I'm gonna copy this jump ring by moving the gumball and hit the alt key and then you see the plus sign showing on my cursor that means it's copy so I'm gonna have that one there okay now let's take a look on the perspective make sure they stick together then I'm going to hit um, bowling unit that one and bowling unit our twisty uh, earring with the jump ring now with this one I just need to rotate 90 degree now I can place this to my twisting wire for the rendering purpose all right so now we have one for the rendering purpose we need two of them I usually like to when I do the rendering I usually like to move one a little bit up front and then it's kind of twisting a little bit so when you are doing the rendering you will have uh, if it happened to have a front and side view then you're able to see front and side view it, it's better uh, point for the rendering better viewpoint for the rendering all right that's our twisting earring thank you for watching i will see you next time in my other video